The Global Fishing Watch map displays more than 65,000 fishing vessels in near real time. It is easy to register to access full map functionality, which includes vessel search, upload of data sets, and sharing workspaces you create. Click on the map and grab to view different parts of the world. Use your mouse or the plus minus symbols on the right of each page to zoom in or out. To change the time range you are viewing, select start and end dates on the time bar. Or, you can drag the start and end sliders on the time bar to select your time range of interest. Click on the time bar labels to zoom from years, to months, to days, to hours. Click play animation to watch activity starting with your selected time period. Click on the arrows to adjust the speed of playback of the activity animation. Click on any grid cell to view an overview of activity in that area and a list of the most active vessels according to Global Fishing Watch's apparent fishing effort detection algorithms. Click on any vessel in the list to reveal a vessel's track and identity information in the sidebar. Hover the mouse over the time bar to show vessels' movements over time. You can search for vessels by name or identification numbers. Click on any vessel to reveal a vessel's track and identity information in the sidebar. The advanced search allows you to filter vessel searches by data source, flags and activity dates. In the sidebar, you can turn reference layers on and off by clicking the toggle next to their name. The colour of any reference layer can be customised. Click the eye icon to reveal more information about the layer, including the source. Each grid cell in the apparent fishing effort layer represents apparent fishing effort as determined by our algorithms using AIS and VMS data. The MPA layer displays protected areas in which fishing may be restricted. The EEZ layer contains the boundaries of the exclusive economic zones around each country. When you click on any reference layer, you will also see the option to generate a report, which is explained in another video. To add layers, click Add in the sidebar. You can select new layers to be displayed on the map, or add your own custom layer, which is explained in another video. Click the toggle to remove any layer. To take a screenshot, click the camera icon on the right of the map. A preview will be shown with the option to download the image. To share or save a workspace, click on the share button located on the left hand side of the map. This will copy a unique URL hyperlink for this workspace which you can share.